The rotator cuff is a group of four muscles and tendons that are part of your shoulder joint. A rotator cuff tear typically feels like a dull pain in your shoulder, though it can be sharp with certain motions, particularly overhead or painful when you sleep on that shoulder. There are essentially two groups of rotator cuff tears. One is a tear that results from our normal aging process. Many patients don't feel pain with this type of tear, so we call them attritional or atraumatic type tears. And indeed, approximately 30 to 40 percent of people at age 60 will have a tear that we detect by MRI in a shoulder that's rated as completely normal without any pain or symptoms. We believe the reason that you don't feel pain in this setting is because the tissue wears out over a slow period of time, giving the body and the remaining muscles enough time to compensate and have good function and strength in the absence of a fully functional rotator cuff. For this type of tear, our best initial treatment is often physical therapy. Our studies show that 85% of patients with an atraumatic tear will be successfully treated with physical therapy alone. The second type of tear, often called a traumatic rotator cuff tear, is often the result of trauma such as falling down where you experience immediate shoulder pain and the inability to move your shoulder or arm properly, particularly overhead. We think this kind of tear typically benefits from surgery, especially in younger patients. And in fact, we expect only 10 to 15% of patients to have a satisfactory outcome without surgery. Left alone, these tears can become larger and weaken your shoulder joint and may in some cases become irreparable if neglected. If you're experiencing shoulder pain and you can't move your arm through a full range of motion or move it overhead, it's time to see a UC Health CU Sports Medicine Orthopedic Specialist to be evaluated for the best treatment for you.